and now we're working on the library. Well, Trail, several of us are working on the library. Mm -hmm. So I started telling the uh, friends of the library and the board about what the barn quilt was all about. We decided it would be really cool to maybe try to find monies to put one up here. That's right. And um, the, the friends of the library came forward to serve with the money. Amounts, and then That's we had right. some private donations uh -huh. that came forward. That's right. Uh, to put some down. And um, Chris Angerman kept saying, well, if you're going to do it, let's have a class. So she put together a class, and some of us took a class with yeah, we her. All, all, all of us all here of us, took the yeah. class. I didn't. You didn't? I well, she did. did and you did. I did. I took a second-hand class from the people <laughs> who were there. <laughs> So, but we did the small two by two, which is story. much different from doing an eight by eight. <laughs> but my idea was I wanted to do something with the learning garden, the children's learning garden, because I think that's such a wonderful thing that we have here at the library. And I thought I wanted something to enhance that and go with the idea of the learning garden. Um, we chose, I, I took my ideas into the uh, friends group and we chose something with the Ohio rose on it. That was our idea, it was because there are roses, beautiful roses, in the garden as well. We wanted to bring that to life. And the first one I did, actually, everybody liked it, but I didn't like it. I just kept looking at it <laughs> and just couldn't seem to get motivated to get going on it. And so I redesigned it into the one that you see here. This one, this is the one that I redesigned into. With the Ohio rose in the center and in the corners. And then I still wanted to add something that brought back the uh, geometric forms that you know we have a lot of in the quilts and stuff. So that's why we have the geometric forms on the on the on the sides. The colors just sort of evolved. I was asking people and the friends and everybody, what colors do you like? What do you like? I wanted the pink because I, I there's a lot of beautiful pink flowers in the that's garden. Right. It's the main theme of the central garden also, yes. the, one, the round garden. The round garden, that's right. And I wanted to pick up that idea and put it into the quilt. So that's sort of how it evolved. We're putting um, several thin layers of paint down so we get really good coverage. We want to make sure that there's no light dark areas. Um, we, that's what Jennifer's going over right now. The purples we were able to do with three thin coats of paint. Um, the we, purple the pink, really turned out beautifully. It did. It did. For some reason this pink seems to need four coats. We're still getting, after three coats, we're still getting some light dark effects. And we, we paint them at different angles each time, too. We really tried to, the best we could, to figure out ways to get good coverage. Uh, but th this was the first set we did, then we did these, and then those. So we've, we've done them in, in different, at different times, and we're slowly, slowly getting some coverage now. I am one of the friends of the library, so I heard about it when it was proposed to them. I also... I was busy during the one class, but Barbara, who's here painting, went and she would come home and tell me everything she learned. And she was just so excited about everything that it's hard not to get involved. And I was also painting sets at the high school with Vinny, and she said, so I think that we're going to start painting the barn quilt soon. So I'm painting. Said I think this is probably the only way I could ever quilt.
I declare that this barn quilt is dedicated to Christina Angerman and Vinnie Hinson, our artist. And the friends of the library. And the friends of the library.